one of the issues that um, was going to need to be fixed before the car could be sold was these rims are not in the best of shape. So you can see this is obviously the passenger side rear where parallel parkers like to mess up the rim. Um, and one of the things we were going to do was sand down just this outside edge here all the way around and then mask it all off and try to just touch up the outside. So we got a random orbital sander with 220 grit um, and the plan is to uh, take off the top coat with the 220 and then switch to a finer grit. The plan? Yeah, we'll primer it with this on and then we'll sand it. We'll use a finer grit, probably a 400 and then an 800 on the primer to get a smooth surface to hit the, uh, the color match with. So we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch over top of the previous painted part. We're going to primer that. Once it's once the primer is all set up and cured, we're going to pull the tape off. We're going to we're going to sand the primer down, and then we're going to take we're going to take that edge off that's left there. Then when we remask, we're going to mask an eighth of an inch below that. So the paint flows over all of that. Then when we take the paint off, when we after we've done painting, we'll take the masking tape off, see what kind of a reveal line we have, and maybe do a very gentle um, stroke around that reveal line before we do the clear. And the clear will blend it all together, so you shouldn't notice at all. Okay. So the lip is it's all been sanded and it's taped off with about an eighth of an inch exposed so right here so right here is sanded and the sanding ends right there and there's about an eighth or so exposed still of the previous paint just above the tape line. Okay, so we pulled that inner lip of blue tape off because uh, we realized after that this is all going to get masked off and stay masked off, um, whereas this one is going to be pulled off after um, it's going to be pulled off and moved so that we get that transition rate. Um, so we're putting all this tape on and that's going to stay on and then the blue tape will go on but that will be pulled off and moved again after. So that was the reasoning behind that. Okay, so the primer is all set. It's been about an hour or so. Just peeling the tape off. I've got an 800 grit. I'm going to see if that works for dealing with these ridges. Seems a little light. I'll switch to a 400. Is that the 400? It's the 400. I'm just doing the real light to get any high points off. Oh, 
from the ribs. Get rid of all the gloss. Okay, so it's been lightly sanded. The old tape is removed. We're going to retape it and then hit it with some paint. Paint is basically set, but we have some concerns that the color might be too different. So we're trying to take down the edge of the seam between painted and not painted, just to see how it looks. I like them. Okay. So let's see here. Yeah. So that's original. The next step up is where no. Yeah, that oh this is the clear over the old. Yeah. And then this is the clear over the new, right? Yeah. And this is original. Yeah. Original. We'll wet sand that all down to try to make it. Not bad. I think it looks pretty good. When you take it out of discerning eyes and bright light, yeah, it looks like a brand new room. It does look pretty decent. Here's the old one, the other rear one, unpainted, untouched yet, and here's the new one, not finished yet, but just for a comparison.